I'm Miss Amy from New City Library and welcome to my kitchen. I thought it might be fun to teach you how to make a couple of really simple, fun Halloween treats that you can make with little or no assistance from a grown-up. So the first thing I want to show you how to make is dirt and worms in a pumpkin patch. So you're going to need some kind of clear cup or glass and two spoons, a big and a little one. If you have two little ones or two big ones, it doesn't matter. You're gonna need some chocolate pudding. Now, I bought this one at the grocery store just because it would save a little bit of time. A little bit of a shortcut, you can make the homemade stuff if you want. You're gonna need some kind of chocolate cookie or chocolate cracker. This one is a wafer and it's super, super thin. You're also gonna need these pumpkin candies and some gummy worms. So the first thing that I did, again, just to save some time, is I took these and I put them in my food processor and I made some crumbs, some cookie crumbs. It looks like, really looks like dirt from my backyard, but it's yummy chocolate cookies. You can also use like a chocolate graham cracker or a chocolate, um, animal cracker these tend to crumble up really well and they're nice and dark like dirt is that's why i picked them okay so we're going to take our glass and we're going to put some of the pudding inside you can use a smaller glass so the portion is smaller this is just again what i had in my house try not to buy the plastic ones but the plastic ones are are, are actually a really good size okay and now I'm going to layer that. Let's see if we can get it to settle a little bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna layer some of those cookie crumbs on top, all over. Maybe some more, because I have a lot of crumbs. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more pudding. smooth that out so it's like a nice little layer. I want to see those cookie crumbs if I can. And we're going to put a little bit more cookie crumbs. This really look, does look like the dirt from my plants. If you see it there, you'll see the layers. And now put some of our little pumpkin candies in there because we're gonna make a pumpkin patch. Maybe another one. Looks kind of cute, right? And then we're gonna put some of those worms in there because they're crawling out of the ground in the pumpkin patch. So we're gonna, I'm gonna stick mine so it looks like they're crawling right out of our little pumpkin patch. So that is our pumpkin patch, dirt and worms, the yummy pudding and cookie dish. So the next thing I want to show you is really even easier. I mean, really, really easy. So what you need is some kind of donut. Remember this is a treat, so it's not good for you to eat every day. You're gonna use some candy eyes and you're gonna use some plastic vampire teeth. So I got these at the dollar store. And you should probably try and wash these before and really don't plan on eating this. Um, and you'll see that there's a hole in our donut. You're gonna stick those vampire teeth right in the hole, kind of push down. So it looks like that is our little monster mouth. And then you're gonna take some of your candy eyes and you're gonna give your little monster a couple of eyes and then put mine here. So the nice thing about having the frosted donut is it kind of gives you a surface to um, have your 
I stick. If you don't, you're gonna need to use a little bit of frosting or icing or something. So that's our monster donut. So our last treat's gonna be a little healthier and we're gonna start with some apple slices. I used my core slicer. You can use a knife, you can use, or you can have your grown up take care of that for you. So we only need two slices of the apple for this. We're gonna need some peanut butter and some yogurt covered raisins. So the apple is going to be our lips of our mouth. So we're gonna pick the bigger slices of that apple and I think I found them. This one has a little bit of a seed in it. So it's gonna be our lips and we're gonna use the peanut butter for the glue to put those lips together. Kind of put it on the edge there. The more the better. I personally like peanut butter and apples. And we're gonna put our lips together like that. I'm gonna put it on the plate so we don't have any accidents. Drop it. And I'm going to use the raisins and that's gonna be our ghoulish mouth. And those are his teeth. Have a little theme going here, don't I, with teeth. So that is a fun kind of monster mouth. It's a little healthier with apple, peanut butter, and yogurt raisins. So I hope this inspires you to make some of your own Halloween treats, whether you're able to be with your friends or just your sisters and brothers, mom and dad. I hope you have a very happy Halloween. Mm -hmm.